So the first thing we have to do is we have to prep our wire. And so I've got my wire strippers here. I'm going to uh, strip this outer jacket back. You can see it pulled that off. When you're using just traditional wire strippers and now I'm using this blade part and I'm going to uh, break this jacket, it's real common to not know how much pressure to apply and you end up going too deep on the jacket. And if you look right here, I've actually cut into my drain. I've cut into my jacket. There's a high probability I also cut into my uh, negative or positive wire because I cut too deep. So you're not really trying to cut deep. What I wanna show you is what you're trying to do is you're trying to just score it. And if I try to pull that with my fingers, you can see I still got plastic connected right there because I didn't really cut into it. I just scored it a little bit. And then now I can use the tip of my, um, my strippers and I can break that plastic because it's scored and it's gonna stay there. And then now if you look at it, we don't have any damage to anything that's inside. So it, it's something you kind of got to get a feel for, but make sure you're paying attention. And if you did score it, you cut into something, just cut it off and start over again. Say, hey, I didn't, I didn't really like that. I didn't like the way it looks. I want to try again. And I'm just going to real easily pull that out. And now I know that I've got a nice clean start. The first thing that pops out here is my drain. And this is a important piece. And so I'm going to kind of curl that and leave it off to the side. Then I've got my uh, Kevlar right here and I've got my foil. And the Kevlar and the, the foil, I don't need for my termination point. So I'm gonna prep those a little bit like this and I'm going to cut those off and make sure I put them in the trash. You don't wanna leave trash all over the field. So um, we're gonna put those off to the side and make sure you keep that nice and clean. And then I've got my, uh, my negative and I've got my positive and then I've got my drain for my three pin XLR. And uh, once again, I'm gonna strip these guys back. And so uh, if you've been kind of wondering to yourself, well, Bruce, how do I know how much is the right amount to you know, strip back? Um, a lot of times, especially guys that are trying to make it look just perfectly clean, they don't really give themselves enough room on their leads and so oftentimes they'll just make them too short. I'm actually a fan of making them just a little bit too long because guess what? You can always cut them a little bit shorter, but if you ever want them to be longer, then you're gonna end up having to, um, you know, restrip your wire. So let's just say in an imaginary world that I think that these are too uh, long, I can strip back quite a bit of my wire here then I can pull all these leads together and I can make a nice clean cut so that they're all the same length. And now I've got a really nice length of, uh, you know, wire for me to work with. Hey, if you feel like you learned something today, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, and then take all this knowledge and go apply it out in the field. That's really what it's all about, is making you feel more confident out there and uh, you know, give you the skills that you need to be an integrator and installer. Thanks for joining us.